We begin with breaking news and the ongoing law enforcement standoff with a man considered armed and dangerous in in a home in the security wide field area of El Paso County. That neighborhood is not far from Talbot Elementary School. Nearby residents are now sheltering in place. Caridia News Channel 13 investigative reporter Chelsea Brinsel is just west of that location on Ithaca Street, where a heavy law enforcement presence remains in place after more than three hours. Chelsea. Heather and Mallory, still a very active situation out here. As you can see, the cars are still, police cars are still blocking off the street, but it does appear that the intensity of the situation may be tapering down, and here is why. Take a look at this video. We captured it 15 minutes ago. El Paso County, you can see a man who appears to walk and have hands up. We have not confirmed if this is the man that the El Paso County Sheriff's Office has been trying to get to peacefully surrender for the past three hours. But what I can tell you is that we have not heard any law enforcement commands since that person came out with their hands up, but we have not confirmed if this is the suspect that they are looking for. The Sheriff's Office said it got word around two this afternoon that a man who was wanted by law enforcement was inside a home on Ithaca Street. They sent tactical support, including SWAT, a canine and crisis negotiation. The warrant did lead to Talbot Elementary School being put on lockout. The school lockout was eventually lifted and parents were asked to only pick up their kids on the west side of elementary, the elementary school. But for now, a shelter in place order remains in effect for residents who live within a quarter mile of Ithaca Street. Residents who are inside homes in that area are asked to stay away from uh, exterior windows and doors, stay inside. If you're outside of the area and you need to be there, please stay away until that shelter in place order has been lifted. The sheriff's office spokesperson told us they weren't sure exactly what the man was wanted for, but he is considered armed and dangerous by law enforcement. His identity is expected to be released when this situation is resolved. And this is a developing situation. There is no word on when the shelter in place order will be lifted or when residents will be back in their homes. And of course, we are working to get confirmation from the El Paso County Sheriff's Office as to what's going on and what that recent development as of 15 minutes ago is. For now, reporting live in Security Widefield, Chelsea Brensel, KRDO News Channel 13.